guys, you're here with Barry, and uh, I want to take a few minutes here on something that uh, is kind of really great for me because um, every so often, you know, you meet some people on all the tours that I do, and um, over time it just develops into a really solid, good friendship when you meet some great people. And uh, I want to introduce you to my buddy Gary. And uh, his wife, Adelia, is uh, just getting ready because we're going to be heading out later. And Gary graciously uh, wanted to come on camera and just answer a few questions about what his experience has been since meeting. And anyway, Gary, thanks. I want to yeah. introduce yourself yeah. to everybody. Hi out there. Hi. I'm Gary Redke, and I'm from uh, Pasadena, California. And this is my uh, third time here in Cabrera. Fourth time in DR, but third time here. And uh, we love it here. And I met Barry about 2013, I think it was, for the first time, through his DR Escapes um, uh, website. And we talked a lot before I came and asked a lot of questions about the place. And so in about June of 2013, five years ago, myself, my wife, and all my children, my, my son and two daughters, and my grandchild came here uh, to visit. And we were just blown away at how great this place is. The country as a whole, but especially Carveta. So we came back again in 2015, and then we came back this time again. So now I'm just here with my wife and my daughter join us about a few days after we first came. Yeah. And so every time I come, it's something new, and yeah. this was uh, probably the most important time coming. This was the, this one meant the most to you. Yeah, you kind of clinched the deal. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Well, you met, we met way back, um, like about four years ago. 2013. 13, okay, yeah. so yeah, way back and uh, when I was with DR Escapes and uh, you followed mm -hmm. the format, you believed in what yeah. we were saying about uh, nations and where things might be heading and mm -hmm. originally that's what, what got your interest a little right. bit about maybe a plan B, I hate to use that term, right. yeah. but... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, you followed um, with us uh, through our change because we wanted to maintain uh, that emblem and uh, with the something feels wrong mm -hmm. that's uh, that that uh, is continuing on that track and um, this trip though we decided to do something a little different I know you've bought properties and and mm -hmm. this and that and it, it's 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 worth it's about so much more than that but this trip we decided to uh, when you said uh, you were coming I said I'm going to take and clear my schedule mm -hmm. for Delia and you right and uh, did we or did we not live up to saying we're going to cram five pounds of apples in a four-pound bag on that <laughs> yeah. three-day trip? Yeah. Oh, that was something. We went to, what's it, Barahona? Barahona. Oh, and then from Barahona went to... Los Patos. Patos, yeah. And then, well, the, the trip was unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> it's not for everybody. Uh, it was very rough. Um, I drove the whole time. I'm, I think I drive like a Dominican now. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I drive... I got really good at it. And Barry was a great... Uh, um, I to say a great teacher of driving the rough roads and we had a great time and we saw the pine trees uh, 8,000 feet above yeah and I felt like we were in um, Alberta Canada or Yosemite or the, or the Rockies it was amazing and I got a chance to see the diversity of the country which kind of blew me away because here we are in the pine trees and this is the Caribbean yeah you know, it, could, yeah. it was unbelievable and then we spent two days, my wife and I, and you and Leon. Yeah, it was, was a great. It was a, and we went to the uh, beach. And we saw white, what was it, white, um, white water beach. Yeah, that creamy it, blue creamy, water, yeah. that yeah. white creamy blue in the stone beaches, yeah. and I think we uh, had so a this fair is the bit best, of rum this is the at most, night. <laughs> yeah, this is the best trip. I think this is the most. Um, I mean, I drove for the first time a lot, yeah. and I saw a lot of the country, and I met some new people also, and so it was a, it was great, and kind of clinch of that. I would like to maybe live part-time here, maybe one month, two months, you know, not ready for full-time, because I have uh, my grandchildren there in the business, but it kind of clinched the deal that, you know, the next step, maybe I'll be here a month, mm -hmm. maybe two months, and then, you know, step by step. So this is like the most important time here we've been. It, yeah, it was, it was kind of a learning lesson this trip, and uh, it did show uh, and maybe give you an idea about the diversity. Mm -hmm. What do you feel here, though, when you're with like you, when we were at night talking a little bit, uh, y y y besides feeling like you belong, like it's at a home, a second home, mm -hmm. what do you feel like your acceptance in the area here, being from, from another country? Uh, now, Adelia's from Guatemala. Right. Okay, now, 
uh, even you know, share both parts, your part and Adelia, because she was raised in Guatemala, and I wish she was here, but she's not. But about how it's similar, the the, the cultures and and mm -hmm. and how the, that sense of belonging is very different than Western culture. Yeah, well, because my wife from Guatemala, and I had to learn Spanish about thirty something years ago. I got very acculturated with Latino mm -hmm. culture. Mm -hmm. Like in Los Angeles, there's a lot of Mexicans, Guatemalans, and Salvadorans, a lot of people. So I hung around them for many years. And so I'm already kind of acculturated to the Hispanic culture. Mm -hmm. So this is like, this is easy here. It's not hard at all. And so I'm not threatened. I don't feel anything it's like, it's just, I'm, it's natural for me, the whole area. But it's different because it's kind of Caribbean. The temperament is different than like, from Guatemala, I can't tell you exactly, but it's just different. And I feel like like we, we, we traveled uh, three years ago. We traveled all through the DR. We went to um, um, La Romano, El Romano, was it La Romano, mm -hmm. Romana, um, Harabacoa, a lot of places around. And every time I felt like when we came back here, Cabrera was like home. Yeah, it's like a feeling like when I came to the the, the Central Square, I was like, hey, I'm kind of home again. Yeah. And Cabrera yeah. has that feeling like you leave it and go other places, but you come home. It's like it, it feels home. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to be doing a video about that because it's it's getting close to a quarter million miles over the time I've been yeah. here and all because I love the four by four mm -hmm. and as as now you right. know right. and uh, it's something that one of the reasons why I travel is definitely to get to know the countries because each area is almost like you're in a different country mm -hmm. but it also helps me appreciate when I come home right to Cabrera the mm -hmm. region around here right, it's. Definitely. It lets me know, not for everybody, but for me, I've mm -hmm. selected the, mm -hmm. the, the appropriate right. area for me. Yeah. Well, I was in the um, Diamante today, the, the La Playa Diamante. Oh, yeah. And I yeah. talked to a guy from, uh, he's from Atlanta. And we're striking a conversation. He's from the Dominican Republic. His mother um, lives in the capital, has apartment buildings. She rents out. And we're talking. He says, I can't believe how beautiful this area is. He says, man, I want to live in one day. And I said, yeah, that's how you feel. Yeah. That's, how, that's how he felt. So we're talking. And so... Other people have said, Carvera is so great. I mean, I've talked to other people around it, and everybody says Carvera has a great reputation of being a um, place that they want to go to. Yeah. And I feel like, um, yeah, I'm accepted. I feel like, and it's very, uh, the area is very eclectic. You have French, Italian, Americans, of course, Dominicans, of course, basically. But you, it's an eclectic amount of people. You don't get bored here. Do you, you notice know? that they seem to all mesh yeah. together? Yeah, yeah. Where some of the areas, and it's not important which they are, but you find they they uh, polarize. Right. Where right. here they seem to mm -hmm. mesh, and and that was a big thing for Leanne mm -hmm. and me, but that was a big thing for us, uh, and it's also one of the biggest uh, deciding factors uh, why we decided to continue our forte with something feels wrong, mm -hmm. is um, it's never been about sale, sale, sale. It's mm -hmm. always been about trying to change a person's life and mm -hmm. I have no desire to put people in high tourist areas right. and gated communities right. or condos. Right. Not that I'm saying anything's wrong with that for mm -hmm. people that want to do that, but mm -hmm. it's just not me. Right. It's right. not what I want to do. Because mm -hmm. I, I know how many of them two, three years later have come back and told, wow, mm -hmm. it's, it's wow. And, yeah. and, right. and, and, and I'd, rather, I'd rather not go down that path. Mm -hmm. you know? and, and I'm not saying it's, it's a good path or a bad path, but right. the people People that I kind of uh, adhere to are the people that understand where certain things are going in the world, where mm -hmm. certain nations are heading, and I know you're a big advocate of that. Mm -hmm. I know you are a big research mm -hmm. and a study person. Mm -hmm. uh, I do know they they call us a couple of uh, chatty Cathy's when we're on the phone. Every once or twice a month we'll yeah. talk, and I don't think we've ever had a conversation less than an <laughs> hour. Oh yeah, sometimes two or three. Yeah. And, and I forget the time because maybe it's 11 o'clock your time. I'm 8 o'clock in Los Angeles. Yeah, and yeah. You, you always, then you tell me, you kind of tell me, Gary, I think I better go to uh, bed. Yeah, I'm, going, <laughs> I'm still 8 o'clock. But, but I, yeah. I believe it's, it's the subject matter and the frequency right. that we're both working at. Right, that yeah. it just gels because, mm -hmm. you know, people, um, I guess we're creatures of habit and people who are interested in certain things are going to adhere. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's science, whether it's sports, whether right. it's religion, yeah. whether it's trends, right. whether yeah. it's adventure. Mm -hmm. And these type of groups are going to click together, not that anyone's better or worse, right. but you've always been a big advocate in being prepared for mm -hmm. what you see coming. Yeah. Can you share a little bit about that with, with um, mm -hmm. like, what got you into that? And uh, mm -hmm. I'm sure that was before I met you. You mm -hmm. started to look at that. Right, that's why I got a hold of you anyways. Initially, reason, yeah, right. Yes. 
But well, well, share with you know with all the viewers that are eventually going to see this. Just like what started to get you to see things. Yeah. Well, it's just everything. It's like what's going to happen with the um, environment. What's going to happen with the the encroaching on people's liberties, like the United States. The, you know, the big hand, the what they call the long arm of the of the of the, of the law, mm -hmm. getting worse and worse. Mm -hmm. um, uh, more violence, more, um, especially with the last year with Trump's election, more um, division, mm -hmm. more uh, political acrimony and stupid stuff like, you know, Russia Gate and stupid stuff. It doesn't make sense, but it's all just animosity. Each side doesn't really talk to each other. They don't hear each other. So, you know, we used to have maybe dialogue. Now is like everybody's like in their corner. And so that's going to create, I think, animosity in the future. And then there's a problem of, well, what happens if we have a solar flare, right? Like the all electricity is. Um, is cut down. Do I want to be in the United States if that happens? Right? No water, no water, because the water pumps will go bad. So I looked at different places, and through talking with you, Cabrera seemed like a very good place. I mean, there's plenty of food here. I mean, mm -hmm. if the whole world goes to hell in a handbasket, you have, I mean, right here, there's a coconut right there. You know, there's, yeah. there's mangoes right there. There's yeah. um, a fish you can fish. I mean, you'll never go hungry here. Yeah, that's and, a big thing. And plus, what you told me, I, I, in fact, remember the trip we took to see the source of the water? Yeah, I and do it, remember And it was that. all gravity fed, so electricity goes out. I mean, it'll be a big convenience, pain sure. in the butt. Sure, But the water will still run to your place. And you, I mean, it'll be an inconvenience because you won't be able to get all kinds of things, but you won't go starving. Yeah, and that's why that. I looked at you. And that's I what remember kind of, that trip. You and that's what kind of impresses me <laughs> about this place here. And that's... And plus, it's, just, it's absolutely beautiful, too. It's not like it's a barren place and it's a place you can escape to, like a, you know, one of those um, preppers, right? Yeah. It's not that. It's just, I mean, it's pretty. It's beautiful. It's like there's greenery everywhere you go. Would you agree when I say to people in my both my blog and uh, on YouTube about it's not a question of whether or not you're going to be affected. The question is to what degree will you be affected right yeah. does that do, yeah do you see that better yeah. now after you're kind of really getting uh you've you've covered a fair bit of this country there's so much more mind you right, right. but you've covered a fair bit of it mm -hmm. do, do you seem to really see what i'm resonate yeah. with what i'm trying yeah, to I mean, say i wouldn't want to be in the capital of san domingo if if you know things went bad also it's not like just the united states i wouldn't want to be in any big city mm -hmm. and so this is like yeah, it, I see it. I see everything here, why you can survive. I mean, I see the people with the sacks of rice. I mean, and everything, vegetation all around you. Growing yeah, oranges stuff. and, and uh, yeah. you know, uh, squash pumpkins. They, right. You know, uh, Aoyama, they call. And, uh, you know, watermelons growing right. all over the place yeah. and things like that. So, so it's, uh, yeah, I, I can see the logic of it. And that's why I'm going to spend at least some part-time here to begin with. You know, and Adelia, Adelia feels the same way, and yeah. she enjoyed this trip. Did, mm -hmm. did it do? Uh, did it open her eyes even further the diversity of the country? Yeah, and, yeah. I mean, she sees a lot of beauty in her native land, Guatemala. Absolutely, I've been but, there. Yeah, she's she's about eight thousand feet up. Her family. Mm -hmm. um, it's different. They have a lot more. Well, it's colder countries. So there's a lot more vegetables and stuff they grow, and there's no tropical fruit where she is from because in the mountain. But there's more like vegetables and. Watercrest and mm -hmm. that stuff up there mm -hmm. where she is, but um, here is there a different. lot of berries and stuff because of the altitude? I don't know where she. Uh, I don't know. I have to ask her. Okay, but um, there's apples. Okay, there's high peaches too. They get okay. So it's different. So um, she is. It's, it's different for her because she's not used to the tropical. Mm -hmm. There's more fruits. The vegetables, I guess, you can bring it in from um, uh, Santiago. Mm -hmm. But it's just different. But she she's getting used to it more and more. It's different than she. She kind of likes the higher climate because of that fact, but I think she's getting used to the stuff here too. Okay, yeah. it's just it's just a acclimate. I'm I'm acclimate maybe a little easier because I don't know. I'm just see things. She's from this type of beauty, so it's not like it's not a big thing for her. She mm -hmm. she she's born in beautiful greenery, rivers, mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. Not the ocean, but the rivers. Mm -hmm. And me, this is kind of a new thing because I'm not from it. So I maybe it hits me more. That hits her, mm -hmm. but she she loves. It. She says it's so, yeah, it's so beautiful, and she yeah she loves it also, no doubt. Would you say that the best thing for people to do looking at any country is to just come on down and oh, yeah, and look to. at it and put your feet on the ground and right. and make your mistakes and right. hopefully yeah. they're not too big and from them. Oh if, yeah, definitely. If you're open-minded, you could learn. Mm -hmm. 
Great. Hey, Gary, just uh, any last thoughts you want to say? Uh, just people should come and take your tour and just learn the place, you know. Get your feet wet, that's the best thing. You can read a lot in books and in uh, magazines and all that, but you have to come and experience it. And it's not that expensive. I mean, oh, another thing I want to tell you, people, the food is very inexpensive <laughs> here. I got to tell you, the restaurants, compared is like, it's unbelievable. The price and the food is fantastic. The too. quality. The quality. Yeah. So if anybody out there wants to like go to resorts and like Cancun or that, forget that. Come here, you get, you get real people, you get better food, and Barry will take you places you'll never see. So I definitely come here. Forget the resort. Yeah. Just, you come here and see real people. Yeah, since you know. you've got to uh, now, it's like you say, it's it's going on in time, and uh, you've gotten to know John the enemy pretty well, mm -hmm. so I, I think now you could pretty much see what the real deal, what we see. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah, know, yeah. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Well, guys, uh, thanks a lot, okay, Gary. Pleasure. Appreciate it. Okay. And uh, guys, this is Barry for Something Feels Wrong. Till next time, we'll talk to you soon.